On one Friday afternoon, I got a call from my friend Sarah asking if I wanted to meet her and another friend Lisa at Dunkin' Donuts as we hadn't seen one another in a long time. I got there after a 15 minute walk and found them sitting together so I joined them. As we were chatting, I noticed that my sister Elena was sat at a table in the corner of the room with her friend Jess. I excused myself from the table and went over to my sister. Immediately, Elena whispered to me, Don't look now, but the guy in the blue shirt, I think he's been following Jess and I. She told me that he's passed their table a good 5 times in the past 20 minutes to go to the bathroom, but he walks slower every time he passes them. I told them they were most likely being paranoid and there was nothing to worry about, but for their peace of mind, I offered to leave with them so they wouldn't feel as worried. I walked back to my table and explained the situation to Sarah and Lisa. Both of them laughed it off and assumed my sister was being paranoid as well. Literally about a minute later, I saw the man get up from his seat and walk towards the bathroom. My eyes followed him and sure enough, he walked extremely slow past Elena and Jess. In fact, it was almost comical how obviously slow he became. Both Elena and Jess looked in my direction and I nodded to show that I had seen him walk slower. About 5 minutes later, I walked towards the restroom and I passed Elena and Jess and told them I was ready to leave whenever they were. They both agreed that they wanted to go now so I said we could leave after I finished going to the restroom. Elena had come in her car so she was going to give me a lift back. I was walking down the corridor back into the main eating room when Elena and Jess rushed towards me. I asked them what's going on and they explained that another man had joined the strange creeper and that the men were both pointing and staring at them. We walked back to the eating area. I put my money on our table and explained to Lisa and Sarah that I was taking off and I would explain what was going on when I got home. We all got into Elena's car and left. After a two minute drive, we reached my house. Just then, I remembered that I had been meaning to return something I had borrowed from my mother. So I asked if Elena could drive me to my parents' house as she was going there anyways. I jumped out the car to get what I needed when my phone began to ring. It was Elena. She explained that a car had driven past and had pulled into a driveway. She said that the driver was the creep from Dunkin' Donuts. I looked out my window and sure enough there was a car which didn't belong to the owner of the house parked on their driveway. I got the girls into the house and locked the door. I instructed Elena to take a photo of the car and the license plate and told Jess to call 911 as she would give the operator more information than what I could. Elena took the photos and we sort of gathered around Jess as she was speaking to the operator. She had finished telling the story and I heard the operator assure us that the police would be on their house soon. A few minutes passed and there was a loud knock at the front door followed by a voice shouting, It's the police! We all did a sigh of relief as I went to open the door. Jess told the operator that the police were here and she hung up. Definitely something she shouldn't have done. I was in the process of unlocking the door when I thought to look through the spy hole at the top. I peered through and it wasn't a police officer. It was the same guy. I froze in fear and I didn't know what to say. We didn't call the police! Elena and Jess were both confused as to why I said this. You have the wrong address! I informed the girls that it was the creep at the door and not a police officer. Both were rightfully shocked and extremely scared as was I. We had a call, sir! I was about to tell Jess to call the police again until I heard the sirens. Sir, you have to let me in! I heard the police pull up and some commotion outside. This time an actual police officer knocked on the door and I let him in. The police officers took the man into custody while another police officer took Elena and Jess into the dining room for some brief questioning. The man was found with a kitchen knife and some other weapons in the car. Everyone was relieved and thankful the police arrived on time. Who knows what could have happened if I didn't look through the spy hole first and accidentally let that man in our house.